Hi there, welcome to Bite Size Med. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a few things I do while studying physiology, and hopefully you'll find some of them useful. First off, why bother spending so much time trying to study physiology? As a first year, our goal is usually to just get through that exam, somehow. But it's only when you get to the years after that you'll look back on it and wish you had spent some time learning subjects like physiology. It's just how the body works. If you don't know that properly, understanding what happens when things go wrong and why that happens in order to be able to treat it becomes infinitely harder. So spend some time and find your way of studying it so you can thank yourself in the later years. Physiology is actually one of the fun subjects to study, mainly because it's about understanding. You don't need to memorize much. Everything flows and everything is connected from one to another, so that makes it easier to learn. So here's how I do that. Step one, the overview. The first thing I do when I start studying a particular organ system is I skim through the chapter titles and look at what I'm about to study. Now the reason I do this is because it gives me a better orientation to what I'm about to read. It also helps me gauge how long studying this could possibly take. When looking at it this way, it's easy to get overwhelmed by how many pages there are to study. I try to focus on how many chapters there are rather than the number of pages because that's easier to handle. Like 100 pages versus 10 chapters. Step 2. Learning. I always start with the first page. It's tempting to skip over things, especially the introduction and things like that, and just study what you need to know for the exam. But understanding is important, especially in physiology because everything is linked. So I start from page one, and my focus while reading now is just to try and understand how this system works. It's not from an exam point of view. While reading, I annotate my textbook, so I use highlighters or underline and sometimes make small scribbles in the margins just to help me understand what I'm reading. Like this, I would focus on finishing the entire system. The goal here is to just understand how things work, not to try to memorize or remember anything. This is honestly the best step and it's the one I look forward to. Also during this step, I'd be filtering out some of the information to make it easier for the next step. Step three, studying. Now learning was fun, but studying is the hard part. But don't avoid it just because you think it's difficult or boring. Find your way to make it an easier activity. Think of it as adding your own structure to what you've learned. Now that I've got an idea as to how the system works and why the chapters are oriented the way they are, I start actively studying the information. Now this is obviously the step that takes the longest. During this step, I would make notes alongside my annotated text, and we're going to be going topic-wise now, so chapters get broken down into smaller topics, with a more emphasis on things that get frequently repeated in exams. Using short bullet points, arrows, and flowcharts, simple diagrams and illustrations, I convert what I've read into my understanding of it. That's the beauty of note-taking. When you return to it later on, it's like you're explaining it to yourself again. If you would like some videos on how to take notes in medical school or something like that, let me know in the comment section below. Step four, tests. After I'm done with studying, I usually like to test myself just to see if I've really understood the information well enough. For this, I like to choose multiple choice questions because they're quicker and they test you over a wide range of topics. And it also helps for residency exams. Step five, revise, revise, revise. I'm not superhuman enough to remember everything I read the first time I read it, or even the second time, really. Spaced revisions is key. I usually have to come back to it at least a week after I've studied it, just to ensure that the information gets locked in. The goal of all of this is to make this process as efficient as I can. I invest most of my time on step three so that what I've studied over maybe two or three hours, I need to be able to revise it in just 15 minutes before an exam. And that's a little bit on how I study physiology or really my approach to it. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.